It is a women's bantamweight matchup between Ronda Rousey and Holly Holm. Here she is, and still one of the best bantamweights or featherweights on this UFC roster, Holly Holm. She has had Mike Winklejohn in her ear since she was 16, 17 years old, and she still believes she is adding layers to her striking game and getting better like a fine one. Holly Holm is the type of fighter that the canvas is completely open to painting on. Holly Holm was the 2012 female boxer of the year. Crazy. Then after all that time away from boxing, she then becomes the UFC champion and does that with a variation of skills, not just boxing. As you see in the Megan Anderson fight, when things got tough on the feet, she had the ability to take it to the ground and use her grappling to win that fight. But the biggest moment was the knockout of Ronda Rousey, when she was a massive underdog to capture her first UFC championship. Maybe the most signature win in UFC history for any man or woman, and one of the best highlights you will ever see. Holly Holm looking for more where that came from here tonight. All right, so here she is again, and you can be sure, champ, she is ready to put those judoka skills to good use in this matchup tonight. The last time we saw a judo player of this level coming to the UFC was Ronda Rousey. Right. She has said that she took the game plan, she took the approach of Rousey, and wants to take it to the next level. Watch all the things that Ronda did well and wants to apply them to her game. She is so good at coming into contact, throwing left, throwing right, inside trip, arm spin, I mean, foot sweep, just so many different techniques that you seem to get lost in all of the exchange. She throws things at the wall constantly. Yeah. Eventually, something will stick. And her opponent has said she has brought in judo practitioners to try to simulate her opponent. Hard to find someone on that level. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a boxer, holding a professional record of 14 wins, six losses. She stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, USA, Holly, the preacher's daughter. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a judo wrestler, holding a professional record of 12 wins, two losses. She stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Venice Beach, California, presenting the former UFC women's back and weight champion of the world. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? You ready? All right, here we go with round one, the classically trained striker versus the Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt. And a lot of people believe if she can get off with the hands here early, it could be a quick night at the office. Yes, yeah, she has to use her hands. She has to be fast and has to really make a point to not be kicking too much because this jiu-jitsu player, this lady, this female who has a black belt in the highest quarter will be trying to time those kicks to use them to lead them to takedowns. She's got to fight behind her jab fight behind the hands and make sure she does not get reckless because the moment this fight hits the floor, this is where the jiu-jitsu fighter wants to be. How good is her movement here on the ground, right? Shades of Ray Borg just transitioning so beautiful. Well, Rousey's looking to lock up an arm bar here. Establish that jab. Very nice leg kick there by Holly Holm. If your opponent has you in the clinch, 
pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch. You have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. The next with a right. Timing her shots nicely here tonight, DC. She's doing a great job, but not only being active, she is so accurate. She's on point tonight. Eight. Fantastic wrestler. Great takedown. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, Sage work from the bottom here as she tags her with the punch. Looks like a potential submission attempt here. Scary in constant pursuit of the finish might get it here. She does a really good job of throwing punches with intent. She never just throws just to be thrown. Every punch is meant to land, and every punch is meant to start a finish. Well, she was long on grappling experience coming into the UFC, and you see her chops here. Just beautiful when it comes to the transition. It's very difficult to keep up with her on the ground. Oh, and she's back up again. Nice job to post the hand and get back to her feet. Ooh, big shot land. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position, the cardio. And this might just be a matter of time. In full guard now, DC, and I know when you're in this position, you're looking to pass the half guard pretty quick. Oh, absolutely, trying to get the half guard so I can start to get off ground and pound. This is exactly what she needs to do. Not only does it get you to a position to get off ground and pound, it also takes a lot of the danger away right. from your opponent off of their back. Half guard is not nearly as dangerous as full guard, so get the half, land some ground and pound, get posture, and then continue to dominate on the ground. Big kick land. Home going for the body. Missed with that kick. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Both fighters here continuing to... Oh, that was nice, John. That was nice. What a takedown attempt. Well, Rousey's trying for a Kimura here. miss a single grappling practice during this training camp, and here's your evidence. Outstanding movement on the ground. She looks like a master of grappling with the great movement that she's showing on the ground. Oh, nice job by her to posture up there. Now we'll see if she can maintain that separation. She has to recognize that her opponent will start trying to squirrel away now, but look for her big ground upon. All right, let's check out some of the action in that previous round, DC. She certainly kept the stat trackers busy with all those takedowns. All those takedowns and some really nice takedowns. She did a great job of level changing, getting into her opponent, not allowing her opponent to defend before she could secure her takedown. All right, so we'll see how it goes here in this next round. She was able to take her down a bunch of times in that previous round, and I'm not sure she's gonna be able to stop it here. Well, no, nothing tells you that it's gonna be any different between round one and round two, because it wasn't close. It's not like she was shooting, having to change the attacks, right. having to move on from one, two, three, four, five things. It was her shot, go to a takedown. Second shot, get a takedown. Third shot, get a takedown, it was over and over and over. Take down after take down, and that's why she's ahead on the scorecard. Oh, she's really starting to put together some significant body shots here, attacking both sides now. Great punch. Leg kick. Over and over. You come up, you go down. Another takedown land. 
great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It, it's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she's been a lifetime developing this skill with the way that she's able to move with so little effort. Trying for a submission now. Get attack the armbar. Stop on the ground, moving in all the right directions. Another nice transition by her there. She's moving a lot, but every movement has purpose. There she goes, landing that jab again. She might have a better jab than you, DC. Oh, she's got a fantastic jab. I'm telling you, put me to put me to shame. I like to try to fight behind my jab, but I'm not sure. Nice injury. Nice defense. Well, Holmes' lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Well, Rousey's has got full mount now. Three minutes now to go in this one. Right in the side control, yep. How good is her movement here on the ground, right? Shades of Ray Borg just transitioning so beautifully. Yeah, she's so good at transitions and movement. Her ability is unmatched. Right hand punch to the clinch. Nice punch there by Holt. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and range. Oh, how about the judo toss there? Judo 101. Oh, yeah, right hand. All right, she postures up here, DC. We'll see if she can get those ground strikes. Here. Watch for the huge elbows that she's known for. Oh, and with conviction, she moves right into half guard. Without much effort, she was able to pass her full guard right into half guard. Oh, that's a nice job. She's got one of the best arm bars in the business going for it now. some significant body work here, and these are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Look at that great work to the body from the clinch. Oh, so how about that? She gets the takedown late in the round. The persistence paid off. Persistence pays off. She is a cardio machine. So in order to secure a very big takedown like that late in the round, testament to her. Now she's in full mount. Saved by the bell, round over. And the finish came just in time. Thought maybe she might tap there, but you know how tough she is. So the submission attempt right at the end of the round, saved by the bell, back to the stools they go. We'll see if she can recover in time for this next round. All right, so that's the end of the round. Lot to like in there, DC, particularly when it comes to her offensive wrestling. Game. She's evolving, right? She's gotten better. She did not have this skill set before. Now you watch her and she looks like an Olympian. She looks like a girl that can wrestle at the highest levels. She scored so many takedowns in that round. Her wrestling coach must be very proud. All right, so she was able to take her opponent down really at will in the previous round. We'll see if her opponent has made the proper adjustments here. It's going to be very difficult because the way that she attacks 
is so diverse. She's never just doing one thing and giving a pattern. Right. It's always like, it's like algebra, right? Her opponent's doing basic mathematics, but she's doing algebra. She's giving her so much information that she gets lost. And when her opponent gets lost, she's able to secure top position and really, really start to get damage off. I get anxiety just hearing the word algebra. Oh. You do well in that? No, John, no, I did horribly. Uh -huh. I thought that I could use my graphic calculator to get the answer. Oh, nice job by her to posture up there. Now we'll see if she can maintain that separation. She has to recognize that her opponent will start trying to squirrel away now, but look for her big ground and pound. Well, Rousey's got the full mount. Looks like she's trying to set up a sub here. Job. Very swollen now. Time to fight down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Pretty impressive ground and pound display here, champ. She's doing a great job of finding the right time to take her ground and pound opportunities. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling could really be in a case. All right, so she continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like she did in the previous round. As efficient as any striker in the division, this is a world class display of striking here tonight. It changes her stance, stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown game? Big leg kick lands. Rousey gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. And they separate. Well, she whiffs on the straight right hand. Oh, effective use of the jab by Ronda Rousey. And they separate. Real sneak by the field. Back and forth we go. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Rousey gets caught with that punch. Oh, continuing to work. Oh, that one dropped her. Nice hammer fist. How good is her arm bar? We'll see if she can set it up here. to work here. Well, she was long on grappling experience coming into the UFC, and you see her chops here. Just beautiful when it comes to the transition. It's very difficult to keep up with her on the ground. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Rousey. Well, you gotta try to stay busy off of your back. She's doing it here. Nice punch. Well, she did not miss a single grappling. Well, Rousey's now trying for the Kimura. The Kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. Nicely done. Oh, excellent pressure here from top position by Ronda Rousey. And this is where she's good. Once she's on top is where she's a beast. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It, it's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she's been a lifetime developing the skill with the way that she's able to move with so little effort on the mat. Well, she missed with that right hand. Good point. Going back to that patented straight right hand, unable to connect. Big punch from the clinch. Oh, 
fight show. The fighters go the distance here tonight, and she really put it all together on the feet as we show you some of the highlights from the fight. It's all come full circle for this young lady. She said on Thursday that we would see a better version of her than we did the last time she was in the octagon. I will take that a step further and say that this is the best we've ever seen. She should win a pretty clear decision. The official decision is now in. It resides with Bruce Buffett. The judges score cards for decision. All three judges score this contest for 928. Declare the winner by unanimous decision, Rowdy Ronda Rousey. All right, so she finally cracks a smile there. She gets her hand raised by unanimous decision, and certainly at times looked like maybe the finish would materialize. It didn't. Nonetheless, she gets a W, and that's really all that matters at the end of the day. If you were waiting for that smile, it wasn't going to happen until the fight was over. Now she can relax a little bit as she wins a unanimous decision. I thought that this 